What's going on there, monkeys? Welcome to the next episode of Lake George here at Coaster Monkey Studios, where we are building a realistic American style amusement park, not a theme park, an amusement park. So, what do we mean by amusement park? Well, it is all about rides and very minimal theming, kind of a, an overarching theme. But uh, again, it's not theming per se, right? So we're not doing Disney. Um, thanks so much for joining. If this is your first time joining, welcome. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. And if you're coming back, uh, well, welcome back. I'm glad you uh, have been enjoying the series. Um, dude, oh my God, so many new subs. The last episode, uh, which only aired two days ago in time of this recording. I love saying that, in time of recording. Uh, <laughs> so in time of this recording, uh, the last episode, we've already got 250 views. It just posted two days ago. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and uh, we picked up like 10 subs from the last episode. You guys are loving it. I appreciate all of you. So thank you, 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 and thank you. So what are we doing here? Well, we are wrapping up our main entrance area. Yes, I know. This is what, five, it took us five episodes to finish this building. Because I wanted to show you everything. I think I showed you a little too much because it got a little boring at some points. But here we are, we're wrapping up. We've done all this before. It's just a copy and paste job. But what's great about this episode, uh, get ready for it because this episode we're gonna see some exciting stuff happening. Uh, so stay tuned to the very end of the video because we're gonna have a real time, quote unquote real time, uh, portion of the video where we're gonna walk through the, the main area, the plaza out in the front and you're gonna get a full view of all of it. And there's a reason why and you'll find out shortly. But yeah, we're gonna have a live portion at the end of the video, so stick around for that. So what are we doing here? Well, we're literally just mimicking the other side of our building here. Again, continuity. Continuity is so important when creating a structure, specifically a structure in this type of a quote unquote generic theme, right? Because these small parks, they're gonna have one contractor or one contracting person or one designer it's not going to be like a team of people who are designing you know you know all these different buildings realistically it's it's one ideology uh set across the entire park and that's what we're going to go after in this whole park you're going to see a lot of repeating themes uh, the shingles the uh, wooden trim work the small wooden frame windows like it's very a very similar theme across the board and it gets me excited to do that because it it, it this level of continuity when it comes to building is so important in creating a cohesive theme and that cohesion is what really elevates your overall build and keeps people coming back for more right uh, i love this idea here in real life there are these these brick pads outside of the uh, areas that, that guests can get into. And this is something that we reiterate, reiterate, reiterate. What am I, uh, uh, Elmo Fudd? We iterate, we reiterate across, across the board here. Uh, so we do that. And, and this, this episode is going to tie in all of the, um, we're going to tie up all of the loose ends that we have around this building. And uh, we're going to get some plaza work done. Massive, massive amounts of plaza work. That front plaza is going to get finished in this episode, which is going to be great. We're finally going to be finished with this whole facade, uh, this whole building structure and like the entryway. And we're going to start branching out into the parking lot areas. And that's what the next few episodes are going to be. It's going to be the parking lot areas. It's going to be the tunnel, the main tunnel entrance, which will be really cool. And uh, yeah. So, utilizing the tricks that we were using earlier uh, in the series, we're, we're following the same uh, building pattern, and we're going to just tie up this brickwork with some concrete trim all the way around. It gives a really clean, clean edge to it. Again, we're going to have our path cover, which currently is floating underneath the ground. So the path cover for our main plaza is still there, the concrete path cover. We just have it hidden. So we're going to pull it up in a little bit, as you'll see, and, and we'll kind of get that uh, sorted out. 
<clears throat> I wish I had thought about this series. And and I'm about to do a shameless plug, guys. Shameless plug. Ready for my shameless plug? I wish I had thought about the Blueprint series earlier on in this series. And why do I say that? Very simple. Because the Blueprint series, in this episode, we're going to bang out one, two, two additional Blueprints that could have easily been in the Blueprint series. Now, if you don't know what the Blueprint series is, I'm going to put that link up top uh, now uh, for you guys. And that is uh, uh, another series on this channel where we go back and uh, we're building Blueprints not only for this particular build but for for other random builds or just maybe i feel like building a blueprint right so i'll create a blueprint for the blueprint series and that's the ideology behind it but the blueprints that are there now are currently all for this park uh so just to keep mind uh, mindful of that but yes the blueprint series here at coaster monkey studios don't miss it it's super fun oh my god can i say that anymore monotone <laughs> It's so fun. Oh, and here we are. Prepare to transport into the future. Why am I saying this? Well, this is what I was talking about earlier. Boom. <sighs> yes, yeah, so NVIDIA, for those of you that don't know, NVIDIA does Shadow Play. And Shadow Play, it's just... I don't know what's going on. Ever since uh, I came back to recording this new series, it's just not doing its thing. Uh, videos get dropped. Videos are lost. Uh, I'm getting screen jumps. There must have been a driver update or something, and, and I don't know how to fix it. Guys, if you guys know how to fix this stuff, please help. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks. But this is the reason why this is the reason why we're gonna be doing our walkthrough of the plaza. Kind of don't have a choice. Uh, because you missed all of this work. There's a lot of work that gets missed in the plaza. So we're gonna come back and we'll do a walkthrough of that. But what am I doing here? Well, I am creating uh, a walkway, a, a, a crosswalk, and these are those fun little uh, strips of plastic for for visually impaired people, where you know when they're running their guide along the floor, they can feel it and they know they're coming up to a street. Now, I just found out that these exist in TMTK, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put these in there, so that'll be a TMTK item that I will show for you guys, uh, which will be, I'm putting in my notes now, see? So the crosswalk um, thingy, I don't know what it's called, for visually impaired. But yeah, so so I'm gonna go back, and we're gonna save a lot of pieces on that because we've got these things all over the park uh, as of right now. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change those all out. But what are we doing? So we're creating a crosswalk, we're putting you know these bollards up. Bollards, are these bollards? I feel like they're bollards. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be absolutely wrong. I think these exist in TMTK as well. So this might be something is uh, something else to go back and, and edit out. So we may make those changes there. But um, I think they're called bollards. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be completely wrong. But uh, yeah. So this is this is to keep people from driving into, into the plaza. Right. Um, we wind up changing this this as well. We've got this trim that we put in. We've also got uh, the wall that we built here that I wasn't in love with. And I wind up editing it, changing it a little bit. So you'll see those changes as well. But there's a lot that you're going to see in the, in the live portion, quote unquote, that uh, you haven't seen built yet. So I'm going to do my best to hide everything from you. I'm going to fail miserably. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to fail miserably. You guys are going to see a lot that, that hasn't been built yet. But it's okay because you're going to get to see that built in a later episode. Um, so as we're doing path covers, path covers, path covers, that's all this stuff. I wound up cutting a lot of this stuff out to not sit. But all of this, now, this is interesting. All this is going to change. So what I did was I wound up saving this as a scenario. And in the scenario editor, changed our uh, terrain painting to include the asphalt. And that's what we've got there. So we've got some asphalt uh, uh, paths right there that are going to change out. What is a great technique, though, is to utilize those asphalt paths as a guide. Lay it down. Do your curbing around your path asphalt. Delete out the path and then fill in the grass area with your... Uh, 
with your asphalt terrain paint, and it gives much cleaner lines and cleaner edges to your terrain, to your your streets. Uh, and you'll see what that looks like in a later episode because we're not doing that now. Um, this crosswalk looks wonky. Yes, I know. I wind up changing all of this uh, to just be a flush crosswalk. I was trying to match up the pathing, and then I was like, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Uh, our guests are going to cross the street no matter what, where they want to. Uh, we'll just put up a barrier if it seems to cross into the walls, which it never does. So we wound up changing this. But this is a good way to do a diagonal path if you need that, if you ever want to figure that out in the future. <laughs> but yeah, so, so crosswalks are fun. Um, we wind up just taking all of this and mimicking this over. And again, this is just the easiest way to do, if you want to do equidistant lines, this is the best way to do it. In my opinion, anyway, and this is how I do it. So, um, but since this all changes, I don't know why I kept it in the video. I change it, but you know how to do it now. So, hey, congrats. Right, so earlier this morning, I was having a conversation with our good friend Nerd Chacho. Nerd Chacho, I mentioned him in our last episode. And um, we're actually going to be doing a bit of a collab. Uh, he's going to be jumping into Lake George. Uh, don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but it will be happening. Now, mind you, I have about a month and a half worth of video already pre-recorded. So it won't happen for at least a month and a half for you guys in video. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be doing an entire section of our park, which is going to be super fun. And, um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. That's something that's going to be awesome. But why, why did I bring up Nerd Chacho? Well, I have been so focused lately on, uh, our Planet Zoo series. Yes, I know. Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo. If you don't know about the Planet Zoo series, I'll put a link up ahead. For that one as well but the planet zoo series uh that will be um that has been my focus i'm gonna put down planet zoo because i've already filmed about 12 episodes of that series for you guys <laughs> and uh i'm gonna wrap up what needs to get wrapped up so i can hand over the park to aaron or nerd chacho um yeah and uh, we're gonna do a little handover video which will be fun you guys will get to see the park info where it is uh, before handing it over and then uh, where it's gone and then you're gonna be able to go over to his channel and watch him do the build there Which will be super fun. He's gonna have his hands on my park. I'm a little nervous Not gonna lie <laughs> So what are we doing here in this video? Uh, right now instead of talking about everything else we are building locker. So this is what's exciting now So we're starting to branch out From actual canopy lakes so this entire plaza area doesn't exist IRL uh, this lockers that I'm building now doesn't exist IRL and these TMTK lockers they're great and we'll get you the link for these TMTK lockers TMTK lockers as well but uh, these are super fun love these um, this setup I really wanted to get the ATM in there as a full way to kind of get custom, custom guests guests to walk over there excuse me but unfortunately it, it was not a thing. It was not happening uh, with the pathing, that crazy amount of pathing I have underneath this. Yes, you probably saw it. Don't judge me. I told you, don't ever judge my pathing underneath the path covers because it is a complete disaster. But uh, yeah, so we're building out this very simple structure. Again, it's, it's function over form, right? It's just to keep people dry if it's raining to put stuff in the locker. That's it right we kept all the exposed edges again this is not i'm bad at planko i mean granted i may be bad at planko uh, i'll leave that up for you guys to decide but this is not a bad to planko this is specifically left as raw edges and and kind of a little bit jank because that's that's what it looks like irl in in a park that i've gone to this is based on a park i'm not gonna say what park because i just called it jank but <laughs> this is based on a real park that I've been to. And this is kind of what it looks like. The exposed shingles uh, uh, at the top. I, it, it, it's all real life for me. But uh, yeah, so we kind of created this with the intention of a daily locker setup. Uh, because there's going to be no real lockers on the inside. This type of a park being a small 
you know, family owned or individually owned park, you know, they don't have lockers inside of their park. It's not a thing. So we put the lockers on the outside because no rides or no um, loose articles allowed on rides. Uh, at Canopy Lake, if I can remember correctly, I don't even remember there being bins on the roller coasters for your personal stuff. Maybe there was. I think on I think on Untamed, there are bins. I don't remember there being bins on on Canopy Corkscrew, which was interesting. But uh, yeah, we layered in an ATM there. We actually wind up changing that a little bit. It looks a little bit too futuristic. Uh, I don't know if I like that cover there, to be honest. So I think we're going to change that uh, before I film the live portion because, you know, I'm not going to show you stuff I've already done. Uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. So um, I didn't like the, the, the basic locker signs either. We changed this over to daily locker rental. And again, this is the only place where you could rent lockers. Now, there aren't many lockers and that's how it would be IRL, you know, in my opinion, because I mean, it's a tiny park. Smoking section. So these are fun. So we got these fun little smoking section areas. The the the, the ashtray, the street ashtray, and the the cigarette butts are so much fun, and it adds uh, a little flair of realism to parks. Now we're this is this is a non-smoking park on the inside. You could smoke on the outside in designated areas, but we're not going to have smoking sections inside the park. We're going to pull a Cedar Point or a Cedar Fair. I should say, you can't smoke in the park. Uh, I'm a non-smoker. I used to be a smoker. I smoked for 20 years, uh, but I'm now a non-smoker since December of last year. I mean, I smoke beer out randomly. I'll have a cigarette if I have a beer, and if I have a beer as a stretch because I never drink beer. Why you care about this? I have no idea. What are we doing here? Well, we are now building another building. So this is a guest services building. This building exists IRL at Six Flags Great Adventures. So now when you think about all the different buildings you would have in an entryway area, you have your guest services, you have season pass processing, you have guest services, season pass processing. I said those, you have um, your ticket area. You've got the locker rental area. Um, these are all things that that go into our season pass processing, or I'm sorry, into our our main plaza, right? So we're creating a guest, uh, a uh, uh, group sales or group entry area or group sales area, whatever this is, right? So if you're a school or a camp or you know a large group, like maybe a work function. You would go to these windows and this is where you would pick up your tickets to get into the park uh, or any special uh, services that you're allotted as a group. And yes, that's a thing. Parks give away special services to groups because when you buy in bulk, apparently, you know, you're you're more important than regular people who don't buy in bulk, I guess. That was totally a snarky remark, by the way, <laughs> on purpose. But yes, this building exists in real life. And this is a fun little, um, this is a fun little building. Uh, it was interesting to build. These are, this is an awesome TMTK item. These blinds that go up here in the window. Now I could have done an interior, but this is where I'm starting to think about piece count because by this point now we're already at 30,000 or 40,000 pieces in the build. And we haven't even started building the, the actual park yet. You know what I mean? So I, I'm really starting to think about the piece count. I didn't want to do an interior. This is a fun little trick too. Utilize the uh, the ring here, the pirate ring. I think that's like a mooring ring for to tie a boat IRL. But uh, yeah, use that uh, with some glass and you got yourself a cool little setup for your window there. But um, yeah, so going back to those blinds. So so again, didn't want to do an interior. Wind up throwing up the blinds. And uh, I think you just put an arch shape, if I remember correctly, behind the blinds. And it just creates the illusion of a closed building. And, and that's what we're doing here, right? We're just, we're just creating illusion. I could have kitted out the whole interior uh, with stuff and made it look realistic, but why? You know, I mean, it's a lot of pieces. Um, this next portion is fun. This is me building a roof with shingles. You've seen me do this before. This is the first time I've done this style of roof. And what kind of roof is it? It's a McDonald's roof. 
Yeah, I said it. I called it a McDonald's roof. It reminds me of the old school McDonald's roofs uh, that used to be on their their quote unquote restaurants <laughs> around, around the country. But it's this style of roof that doesn't exist in the game. Uh, and it was fun to do, uh, to learn how to do it the first time. I definitely figuring out how to do corners on these shingled roofs has been interesting. Uh, again, I'm a noob. I'm a noob to this game. Whether you want to believe it or not, I've only been playing the game since June of last year. So I've only been playing the game for, what is that, eight months? So I'm still learning how to play. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know everything. I'm learning. I don't know everything to be honest, at all. Uh, but yeah, so so as you're building this roof out, this has been a fun little, fun little speed bump, to say the least, uh, trying to sort this out. I, I couldn't figure out how to get it to line up perfectly, and then, then I ran into the issue of um, the bottom side of the shingles. They stick out the whole bottom. So I had to figure out how to come back and like hit that with uh, beams to create a nice clean edge. And it's, again, it was a little bit of a headache, but I figured out the headache, I got it. And I think, you see what I'm doing here? I think what I need to do is I need to frame it out first and then fill the shingles in after. I think that's gonna be the next time I do one of these roofs, IRL, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna see if I can make that that work because that might work maybe maybe we'll see but it's all a learning process for me kids i've watched every video i've seen them all i've seen all the people all the youtubers out there how they build and i've seen them do amazing work and i i can't do it exactly like them yet but i'm getting there i am getting there All right, so I wanted to bring up our music that we have playing really quickly. I hope you guys are liking the music. Listen, if you don't like it, it's cool. Tell me down below if you don't like it. If you do like it, tell me down below. Um, I, I went with something different for this series. I wanted to have a very ambient kind of chill vibe. You know, um, I talk a lot <laughs> over it. So uh, if you want me to stop talking so much, I want to hear it. Tell me, please. Um, cause I personally love this style of music this ambient, chill, laid back kind of, you know, vibey music. Um, it's definitely a vibe. It's setting a vibe and that's the intention. And I hope, I hope you dig it. If you don't dig it, let me know. If you do dig it, let me know. I appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, here we are with our roof back to our build. Looking at this, this, this off center roof was just, oh, goodness. uh, but trim work. <laughs> I'm rambling now. Can you tell I don't know what to say? I'm rambling. So trim work. <laughs> uh, uh, trim work is very important. It's something that I still have yet to 100% finish on this particular building. Um, that I'm going to go back and do really fast before I show you guys the, uh, the live portion of this episode. So I'm going to fix up all this trim work and just kind of, you know, tighten up. Tighten up some loose ends here. It's my English accent again. I told you guys in another series that I would never do that again, but I'm gonna keep doing it, obviously, because it's what I do. <laughs> it looks like a little McDonald's. Look at it. I'm gonna put an M on it somewhere and just be like, hey, look at these, holla. <laughs>
All right, and now going back to that building continuity, here we are building a separate building from our main entrance, right? Now, obviously, this is, it's obviously built at a different time, right? You can tell it's built at a different time. It's a different type of structure, right? It's it's more of the plaster wall versus, you know, the shingle or whatever. But, but the design is the same with the main entrance, right? We're using the same materials for that entrance there. Uh, and we just pulled it from the back of one of our ticket booths. Booths, excuse me. And then here we are building another little smoking section next to this. Because again, no smoking inside the park, only on the outside. And we're going to throw up a couple more of those throughout our build in the next coming weeks. These stanchions are awesome. There's another uh, TMTK item that I will get out to you guys uh, as well in the comments below. Definitely check those comments below because I get a lot of stuff down there uh, for you when it comes to uh, links to different TMTK items. All right, and then as we wrap up this speed build here, guys, we're gonna get ready to get into the live portion of this. Now, keep your blinders on, guys, because you cannot remember everything that you're about to see because it's gonna be coming in later episodes. So just a heads up for that. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this portion and uh, get excited. We're about to get into the live portion of our plaza. Catch you guys over there. All right, guys, so here we are in our live portion. I'm really going to do my best not to show off things that we shouldn't be showing off, but one of the most iconic pieces I think that we've created thus far is our welcome sign that we have here at the very front of the park. This is what you see, the welcome and goodbye uh, in our video. Uh, super easy to create. It's Whoa, okay, why did that just jump? Oh, I know why. No, pause. You can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> there are things about to happen that you can't see. Um, so we've got we've got our welcome sign here. Uh, again, super easy to create as far as that goes. And then as we come through our whole area here, now remember we're saying how I built the fence. And I made some some additions to it or some changes to it. Yes, we've got cars on the road, <gasps> and that was the coaster in the background. Shush! No, you can't see that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I made some adjustments to the fences. I brought down that piece there. So now it looks like it's just a, a concrete uh, pyramid. And then these are the bollards and the, what they're called, tactile tiles for the uh, visually or seeing impaired, or the blind, I should say, uh, visually impaired. And then, um, yeah, so that's what we've got so far coming in. And then we just did some minor uh, tweaks to this building. We put on a gutter in the back of it. Uh, we added greenery a lot of greenery to the plaza and we worked the pathing around all of this greenery and this fountain that's here um we can unpause now i guess um but our fountain that's here so we've got this nice setup going on here in the front and then remember again we were talking about palettes so it created a palette of yellow red and orange with green obvi oh we have very excited workers today um with green, Avi, and then uh, we kind of use the same color palette for the most part. Um, these are going to be advertisement signs. You're going to see these popping up, or these are going to be completed before we hand it over to uh, Aaron, which will be cool. Love this fountain. I got this idea from Hershey Park. Uh, they've got their Kisses fountains, so it's kind of like the same ideology behind that. And then we also created, and I'm trying to keep my camera down here. We also created this fun little area. So now when you go inside in and out of theme parks and you got like credit card companies or whatever, they've decided to, um, or they've asked like sit outside and like sign people up for credit cards. It's not that this is over here. Uh, we've also got, ooh, these got to get dropped down, huh? I just noticed that, so I'll have to drop those down. Don't pay attention to what's in the background. <laughs> and then here goes our special events building. We've cleaned off the bottom of it. As you can see, we covered over all of the uh, tiles there. And then as a whole, this is kind of the area. Oh, perfect. I was afraid I was going to turn around. You're going to see something you're supposed to. Uh, but yes, as a, as a whole, this is the area and kind of what the area looks like. Um, for the most part, I'm going to be doing some... Uh, terrain and and uh, uh, greenery work or foliage work. And you can expect to see that nature work, I should say, uh, before it's handed over to Aaron as well. And then uh, we've got these. So I, I also have a link down below for these cue poles. 
So you can find these down below as well. So I did that with just some simple planters uh, and some lights here. So you've seen that obviously in our opening, uh, opening setup, or opening credits, I should say. And uh, yeah, this is kind of what our, our, our little plaza looks like. Oh, also I want to show you, because I don't think I have this on video either. So we did the guest services here, but we have not shown up this stuff. So I'm going to I'm gonna hook these up as well with some nice um, brickwork just outside of the doors. So we put over this season pass processing here in the corner. We've got our first aid set up, which I think you guys saw this stuff. Right, so we've got first aid, we've got season pass processing, and just thinking about all the the things that you would need for a main entrance, right? So you've got first aid, season pass processing, exterior guest services, right? You've got your entryway uh, ticket booths, you've got your main archway, which we love, and then we, whoa, and then I just ruined touching cam. Well, that, there we go. We've got daily tickets. <laughs> uh stroller and wheelchair rentals and that's the parking lot so you should be seeing that but yes that's what we've got going on guys let's uh exit out of tetrid cam okay and then i just want to see where we are okay cool we're here so we are here and then we're just going to go into night mode really fast so you can see what this looks like at night okay and then this is our night shots here And that's your that's your look. Right, that's what we've got going on for our main area. Or our main plaza, entryway, whatever you want to call it. So, all right, there you go. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, this is Coaster Market Studios signing off for this episode. Guys, catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Ciao.